Our today's tutorial is about how to make the Venetian mask with a long beak. Prepare a big bowl to make paper mache. Take paper napkins. Tear them into pieces. Pour a cup of hot water. Mix until dissolved, adding water or napkins if needed. You'll get a peanut-like consistency. Wring it out. Pour in white glue. Mix well. The paper mache pulp is soft and pliable. We'll use a large water bottle for a mask hull. We need plasticine and tools for making a mask model. Warm up the plasticine with hands until soft and pliable. Mark the width of the face from the temple parts with the tape splitting the mask in half. Make a cross with the tape by marking an imaginary line from the hairline up to the nose tip. Start with the forehead part. Place the plasticine onto the hull. Smooth and even the edges. Make the nose part by forming a sharp edge bridge. Add more plasticine to get a long beak. Smooth and even the edges. Keep in mind the symmetry. Make the cheekbones. Add some plasticine to make them more expressive. Start forming the eyes. Smooth shaping the eyebrows. Add some plasticine to the bridge. This will make the look ominous and grim. Smooth, defining the eyebrows to make the eyes more expressive. Now form the eyelids. Start with the upper eyelid by attaching this piece of the plasticine. Then press down the eye area by removing the excess plasticine with a round-ended knife. Deepen the surface in the corner between the eyelid and the bridge. Repeat for the other side. Attach the lower eyelid. Smooth with the knife to shape and divide into planes. Correct the eye shape by removing the excess plasticine. Keep in mind the plane combination. Make them a bit angular. Repeat for the other side. The plasticine mask model is ready. Let's follow the next step. Attach the paper mache shaping the model. Use a spatula to flatten the places you can't smooth with your hands. Define the thin details. Cover the whole surface, smoothing the pulp. Done! Now it will need about two days for the mask to dry. Keep it away from the heaters as the plasticine model can melt and the mask will deform. Sand the mask after drying to smooth the surface. Use a water-based latex paint for the ground coat. Apply the first layer. Sand again when dry. Add several more paint coats. Smooth each layer with the sandpaper. Pull the model mold from the bottle using the knife. 
Carefully remove the plasticine from the mask. Done! Trim the edges of the eye holes using a craft knife. Trim the mask edges. Sand again. Draw a small circle in the temple part and pierce a hole with a broad awl or other proper tool. Repeat for the other side. Cover the inner surface with the ground coat. We have chosen dark brown, yellow, orange, and ochre colors. Choose acrylic paints or gouache for a matte effect. Paint the mask brown. Add some yellow and ochre strokes. The basic color is brown. Other shades complement it. You may add some dark red or purple to make it brighter. For the expressive outlook, make the deep areas darker. And the protruding parts lighter. Distress the mask using a dry brush. Make several sharp strokes in one direction. Use a little white paint for the lightest areas, and voila! Now pass the string through the holes. Tie knots. Cut off the excess. The original Plague Doctor hand mask will make you enigmatic at a fancy dress party. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comments and be the first to see the latest uploaded tutorials with original mask and accessory for themed party ideas.